You're listening to Season 6 of the award-winning Home Ed Matters podcast, brought to you from the West Midlands in the UK. We're just a regular family of five on a home education journey, and we want to share our journey with you and encourage you on yours. So thanks for joining us, and here's this week's episode. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to... Home Ed Matters. Season 6. Episode... 21. Oh, so are we going to still do it as season six? Yeah, so we won't we start season start. seven until we start our seventh year of home ed. Oh, cool. Do you get it? Um, my name's Luke, by the way. Mine is Eden. Um, and thanks so much for being with us. Yes. We really appreciate you doing that. Um, welcome if you are a new listener. And if you're an old lis- listener, welcome too. Well, yeah, welcome back. Uh, if you have been listening in, we finished, uh, in our last episode, we'd actually finished our year of... Our academic learning. year of learning. Yep. Um, but we decided because of lockdown, we're going to keep on podcasting yes. just on a slightly, um, every maybe every three weeks rather than every two. Yep. Just to keep you in touch. Yeah. So here we are. We've had three weeks since we finished our formal learning. Oh, it's been three weeks. It doesn't feel like that. I know. Well, that's because we've been having so much fun. Yep. Um, three weeks has whizzed by. <laughs> really, genuinely really has. We're still in lockdown but it's starting to open up a little bit. Yeah, like Grandma and Granddad come around on Monday. Yeah, they can come in the garden, can't they, in an outside, outdoor yes. space. So that would be nice, start seeing yep. people. Um, Did it say if friends can come around? Yeah, but you, the, uh, groups no bigger than six. Oh, so you have outdoor to be in space, the house. In an outdoor space. So we'll, we'll yeah, we'll... Yeah. Well, I'll probably... I don't know what time they're coming over. I might still be working. Oh, yeah, good point. So we are sitting on... Some very um, scratchy grass. Our lawn. One of the lawns around the side of the house, which we'd yes. actually let grow really long. And it was so nice. Because what was in it? Forget-me-nots. And it was like, forget-me-not heaven. A forget-me-nots and buttercups and primroses. But they're all dead now. Um, well, they'd, yeah, they'd kind of finished, really. So I gave it a bit of a mow because we've also got yes. uh, apple and plum trees. Yes. Planted. Um, but they're all... The grass is parching. Well, it's been so dry, hasn't it? It's like the driest season in a century. Well, we had the wettest winter, like the fifth wettest winter on record. And really? now we've had the driest spring. Um, but that has made lockdown a bit easier. Yeah, it has. Like, I can't remember a rainy day, really. No, and we've just been, you know, you've been outside morning, noon and night. Yep. Well, not night, Dad. You know, but it was a, it's a yes. phrase. But we do want to camp in the garden. Which now, we're, we're, we're looking out over our veg plot, our allotment yep. area, which we've been able to do a bit more on yeah. because we've had an amazing fence installed Yes. a couple of weeks ago. Thank you to the fencemen. Yeah, well, we'd been waiting longer than planned because it was they were going to do it and then lockdown happened and they ran out of supplies. Yeah. But they've done a really good job. So cool. Uh, so just because there's a bit of a drop off on the other side of the boundary. Yeah. <laughs> There is literally like a 10 feet drop. So uh, we can, well it's not quite 10 feet, but... How much feet is it then? It's five foot. Oh. Am I five foot? Nearly, yeah. I think you nearly are. You're up to my shoulder. Yes. Um, all that sunshine's grown. So we <laughs> can focus on our planting really. So what can we see? Well, let's let's work our way through it. So from this side, what have we got, got at this end? We've got the rhubarb and the roses. Yeah. Well, we've And a rose. So well, we keep finding plants around the garden don't we that are that we want to keep yes so we've been digging out brambles but when we find roses yes we keep keep them them, or transplant them into the border yep so we've got some rhubarb that's grown okay a couple of them got a bit trampled yes by the fences yeah but but they are coming they're pretty hardy um and then we've got potatoes yeah and three different kinds yeah and we dug a big trench and buried them in the bottom of the trench first and then once they came up what do we do? We limped it over again. Yeah, we, we earthed it over. Yes, uh, and now they're, and now coming, they're coming through again. So that's really good. Yes. Are they, do you think their leaves underground will still be like trying to get to sunlight? Um, I think maybe they'll just focus on the leaves above ground and they'll mm. but they'll start growing more potatoes underneath their roots. Good. When can we get the potatoes up then? Uh, not till later in the year. They're we're gonna growing. have a, we're gonna have a big harvest like October September because so, yeah. we'll have like all the apples to pick and yeah plums and all of the fruit will have grown. Well, I mean that's the, the exciting roots. thing. So all we can see the fruit developing in our orchard yeah. on all the trees. 
We can have like, like there's loads of cherries on cherry trees. Yeah, we'll have like two weekends of like a major. And the peak. apples are on the apple trees. I haven't had a good look at the pear tree. Only half of the pear tree is, is in leaf. It's really struggling. Um, I but, feel like it is growing. And we think it's a pear. Like actually, we don't. We're not entirely sure. It might just be like a poisonous pear tree. Is that is that a thing? Probably. <laughs> um, so we've got potatoes, and then beyond next to the potatoes, we try. We'd grown these in. Gutters, what are yes. they? Um, which ones? Oh, called? yeah, the Monge 2. Monge 2. So we grew them in gutters. Um, and I collected sticks. Thanks to Gardener's World, great tip. Yeah. And then we dug a trench and we just slid them in. It was very easy. Um, yeah, and you've got, we've propped them all up with various sticks. We've got the Monge 2 there, so they're really nice. Yep. And then um, for, as we go further down, we have got a whole area we need to clear. Yes, it's quite big. But we're going to put, what have we got? on the patio that was ready to go in. Um, courgettes and all of my herbs. Yeah. Um, so courgettes and pumpkins and squashes are the main things to go in there. Maybe some yeah. sunflowers. Um, oh. I think the herbs will keep for, in some other pots. Yeah. Um, and then we've got chard. Chard. That we grew direct in. And that's going yes. really big. And um, the and chickens got, are going to love that. We've got onions. We've got onions, two different types that we, our neighbour gave us. Yep. Um, we've got beetroot. We've got beetroot. We've got another... We've got garlic. Rome, garlic, and then we've got another row of beetroot. And then we've got beans and a plum tree and a cherry tree, I think. Yeah, we've got the cherry tree that we planted. And then... That came free with something with the plum and apple trees. Yeah. <coughs> um, yeah, the monastic cocoa beans are a heritage variety. Yes. A type of French beans. So they're growing now up canes adjacent to the fence. Yep. We had to wait for the fence to go in, didn't we? Yes, we did. Um, so, and we've got various cuttings as well in the shade. Yeah. We're hoping that they take. Fingers crossed. Um, the, the cuttings we did last weekend, the fuchsia and the dahlias, they're doing yeah. well. So like the flower slash shrub cuttings, but the, yeah. the rose bush cuttings, not sure. Yeah. And the pur the kind of purple elder, that's Is that a bit, taking? Oh, I don't know yet. It's still a bit early to tell. Yeah. So lots of things growing. Like you say, we're going to have a big harvest. Whew, yeah, it's the gooseberry going to be bushes. Uh, we need to net the gooseberry bushes so the pigeons don't eat the gooseberries this year. Yeah, they did last year, and then probably the squirrels hopped too. Well, hopefully now we've got rid of all those laurels. There's less squirrels and pigeons immediately over it. the gooseberries. Yeah. So last weekend, we, you and I, went and harvested a load of. Uh, elderflowers. And we did a quick recording while we were out and about. Yep. So there's, here's the recording. Well, we're out of the house. Yes. I mean, lockdown's still going on. Yeah, but staying this. Not so there's anyone out this time. I know, well, it's mid-morning mid on a Saturday morning. Oh, the sun's just coming out. Ooh, nice. What have we been doing? Uh, collecting elderflowers. Because we're doing two types of recipes this year. Yeah, elderflower cordial and elderflower fizz. So we often make the elderflower fizz. Yes, which is super so tasty. yummy. I think we use less sugar this year. Was yeah. our decision. <laughs> yeah. And then the cordial, it's like a concentrate, isn't it? Yeah. We need like we need sixty flowers in all. Well, because we're going to make lots. Yeah. So we've yes. got how many flowers we've we got so far? Fifty-one. Fifty-one. We're in a bucket, and yep. then we've got a nice elder tree by in our land as well. But yeah. um, most of the flowers are a bit high up. Yes, but I'm going to go on your shoulders to get them. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. yes. And then just the rest of the weekend in the garden, probably. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going for our windy walks because we've started walking around Woolworth Coats. So, so good. windy, isn't it? Um, yeah. We're slightly sheltered here, you know, but it's, it's yes. going to be windy Papa. on the walk back. Right, let's meander home, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, and then we came back. Yeah, we did. And... What, what did we make? We made elderflower cordial and elderflower fizz. Yeah, so we got the fizz in the fridge. Fizz in the fridge. Um, so the fizz we had to leave for a few days yes. to kind of ferment. But it's very yummy now. And the cordial, how did we do that? Um, well, we had to like shred a load of fruits and make the juice and stuff. And we had to put like the zest of some things in. Zest of lemon. And we had to like orange. boil it and... Yeah. We had to stir it for ages. Well, we, so we kind of let it infuse overnight. We put some of mint leaves in, didn't we? Yeah. And then in the morning, we, we heated yes. it all up. 
and then I did the last few bits, and then yeah, we bits and pieces. bottled it. Okay. So the cordial's nice as well, isn't it? So that was yeah, good. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, and because we've got a big elder tree on our on our land, and on then we spotted land. that our, our neighbours had, had a purple elder tree. Yes. Which is really pretty. So we took some cuttings, but then socially distanced. Well, we don't know yet. We shall see. So that's pretty cool. Oh, can I smell garlic? Maybe someone's cooking. Yeah, it smells nice. Um, we've got an abundance of eggs as well, haven't we? Yeah, we've got eggs, just giving some to the neighbours. Yeah, that was really nice, wasn't it? So we've just given some eggs to the neighbours. Yeah. Um, and so it's gone super quick. It really Even has. Even though we haven't been doing our formal learning, we have kept into yeah. a bit of a routine. I feel, I feel like it's almost gone quicker than our formal learning. Yeah, so yeah. we've been watching lots of things grow. Yes. So what did we just put out into um, their new home? Frogs. Yeah. Because one of them is like a little frogling with a tail, and it's so cute. So where have we had the tadpoles? Um, we've had them on the... Well, we've had them in Ash's Pond, Bell's Pond, not my con pond, because I don't have one. And we've had one in the uh, um, dining room. Yeah, them in the... Growing. Yeah, we've been watching them in the dining room grow in a big... Yeah. In a big kind of bucket, clear bucket. Yes. Um, but the froglet... What... Still got the tail, hasn't it? Yeah, it's still got the tail. And it was like the hu the most humongous one. Mm. And um, now it's gone like tiny, a froglet with tail. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so we'd also had some caterpillars. Yes, which were like mini tortoiseshell. There were small tortoiseshells, which were quite yeah. butterflies, caterpillars. Yes. So they arrived and what did we mainly feed them on? Um, we mainly fed them on stinging nettles. Because that's what they eat. Yeah, and they did loads of tiny little poos. And um, then when they went into chrysalis, they were like... Um, yeah, so we had to wait for them to go into chrysalis, and then two weeks later, we spent like the whole morning watching them come out. Yeah, so over two days, they all yeah. came out. Yes, and we let them out over two periods. So we've had tadpoles, yeah, and butterflies, nice. we released the butterflies. Yeah, and the we've, ants are doing well. Yeah, the ants are doing really well. Yeah. Um, we've got a little ant farm. Pretty sure they've chosen a queen. Yeah, um, there's loads of eggs in there, aren't there? That's yeah. That's sort of moving them around. And our mealworm farm, so we're growing live mealworm for oh, the yeah, chickens. Oh, haven't, yeah, I haven't checked on those today. So. Well, they've turned to the beetles and the beetles are mating, so we should have the next crop of mealworm soon. Okay. Yep. So that'll be pretty good. So that's going to be self-sustaining. Yeah. And then in the evenings, or overnight, for a few nights... We've been letting the moth trap out. We put the moth trap out. So we, we made a moth trap a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, just out of a plastic lidded box with some egg crates in it and a funnel and stuff. There's yeah. really a lot... You, if you just Google online, it's really easy to do it. And we've got yes. a UV light that we use, although there are yeah. better lights, apparently. So, but, we might get those. Um, so, we didn't have loads yeah, of moths this but we time had around. one interesting moth. We were hoping for, like, the hawk moths, but we yeah. didn't see any this time around. But we had one really, like, black and white kind of dappled moth, and it was really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. Let's uh, take a quick break. Yes, get a cup of tea. We'll be back in a minute. You're listening to the Home in Matters podcast. Well, what are we looking forward to this evening? Uh, I don't know. We tried to oh, watch yeah. it the other night. A rocket launch. Yeah, so we've watched a few rocket launches on the NASA website, but what's yes. important about this one? Um, two astronauts going to the moon. Well, not is it the moon? I think it was going, Oh, wait, no, just, it's the ISS. They, yeah, they're going to the International Space Station. Yeah. And the significance is it's a new design of rocket. Of rocket. So Hope it's the it first new well. design for ages, yeah. So we tried to watch it the other night, but well, I didn't. the weather wasn't good enough. Yeah, but I can tonight. And, um, yeah, we might be able to see... If it's not too light, the... Explosion. Well, no, we might be able to see it getting towards the International Space Station. Really? Yeah, if it's dark enough. Dark. So that would be pretty good. Yeah, it would be super cool. So we've been enjoying watching that. Yeah. Um, we, so we're looking forward to that. Also need to watch Spring Rock Watch. Oh, Though yeah. it seems well into summer by now. Well, yeah, it is meteorological summer from the 1st of June. Mm. And we are basically the 1st of June. Oh, I need to do my room inspection. Yeah. Uh, so you and your brother get pocket money once a month on condition that your room has been kept tidy. Yes. Sometimes it has, sometimes it hasn't. I've, 
I'm 10 and I've had it for five years and there has been at least five occasions where I've not got my pocket money. Yeah. But only five. Um, now, because of all the hot weather, yes. we, uh, we set up a pool in the garden. And which we got a gra- rash from. Well, maybe, maybe not, but... Um, what was what was different about the pool? Um, it was a birth pool. So we've, we've had a, it was a birth pool we've had for yes. ten years because you're ten. Yeah. And every single one of you was born in it. Yes, quite an achievement, really. So we uh, we inflated that and then we actually did put hot, well, warm water in, so that it was a bit like a hot tub for the and first it was day a hot at least. Tub. And then the le- next few days we got used to it being unhot tubby. But yeah, uh, yeah you 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 all did come out with um, a rash. A rash, but. In the end, we decided it wasn't an allergy from the, from the pool because we just we do think it's actually a bit of a virus that you've had because it's mainly yeah. on your chest. Um, so but we put pseudocrem on it, which worked a lot better than all of the doctors' things. Well, yeah. So the antihistamine didn't work. So that's a bit strange. We uh, it's not inconceivable that it's it's linked to the MMR jab that Bell had a few weeks ago, which is a live virus in it anyway. So even though you'd had a jab for that before, so oh. um, anyway, the good news is you've been feeling all right. Yeah, I don't feel ill at all. haven't had any all. other symptoms, and it's not been too itchy, has it? No, not really. Well, this one, it really hurt, but I put a pseudocrem on it, and it doesn't. Yeah. Now, if you've listened to previous episodes, you'll know yeah. that Eden produced... Happy news! Happy news for our, for our road. Yeah. Uh, like a newsletter. That, and yeah. you've done two editions so far. And, and we just did the third today. Did the third today, because you had just an amazing response to it. Yeah, it was so cool. Um, and, uh, yeah. So you've made some new friends down the down the street as a result. Yes. Like pen friends, but on the street. Like um, Lydia and Matea, they're like, you know, it's good because they're lending me books. Yeah, that's really nice. Like, yeah. And especially because the libraries like, are shut. Yeah. And it's like, we start our little library almost. So we, you, you made happy news this morning. Yes, I did. And then we photocopied it all. Yeah. And then went and delivered it to everybody. We did. So hopefully... That will have made people happy. Fingers crossed, because that's the whole thing. It's called happy news. And then, um, yeah, we for the first day, it's the first time ever we've had, like, too many eggs than we haven't used, because we've been yeah. using them up really well since our chicks have been laying. Chicks? No, they haven't been laying, I like Dad. to call them chicken. I like to call all of our chickens the chicks. Oh, well, for us, we usually call them the big chickens and the chicks, even though the chicks aren't actually chicks anymore. I know. So our younger three chickens... Oh, they're like the chicks. We're the ones. They're the ones we've grown from a few days old. Oh, they're so cute. But now they're yeah. full size, and they should be laying soon. They should within the next month or so. So we, we generally have three or four eggs a day, don't we? From yes. the five that are laying. But we only had two today. We have had five egg days, haven't we? Yeah, we've had two five egg days, which is like amazing. But when the chicks start laying, start laying, and if and it should only be in a couple of weeks, could even be sooner. Yeah. We might end up having. Six to seven a day eggs, so we are going to have to start um, giving them away. Well, I think probably like once a week we'll we'll let people know that once a week we might put a little table out the front, and people can come and there'll be an honesty box, and they can pay a pound for a dozen. Or we could just sit outside there and wait. Yeah, Uh, hold on. So yeah, those are our eggs. Those Um, are our eggs. We you never know, might make a couple couple of quid. Couple of quid. Can go towards go towards feeding them. Oh, we could so just split it up. You're doing some weeding, Ash. Pocket mini. What are you doing? Swapping up the earth to make fine dirt. Oh, right. Um, so we, we've been doing quite a few biology experiments, actually. Yes, we have. We did learn about um, peppermint. So we put a balloon of peppermint in a... We put peppermint in a balloon, blew, blew the balloon up and put it in a box. And then we checked on it an hour later. And um, the box was all pepperminty because of osmosis. So the smell had diffused through the balloon. Yeah. So this is from um, Janice Van Cleve's Biology for Every Kid, which yeah. is kind of quite an old book of biology experiments, but they're really yes. good. Yes, and uh, yeah, it's so cool. So we've done a f- quite a few experiments. Yeah, and um, one of the other ones, we put two bowls of water out, right? and one bowl had salt water in, and we put potato in them, slice of potato, and um, the one with salt water in went really... Um, you know, the potatoes went all squishy, and where the one with um, real water in did not go squishy. But um, my little sister Mirabelle, she, we had to do, um, like, we made hypothesis of what it would happen to the potatoes in salt water, and Belle said they would turn into uh, to tomatoes. Which is quite a funny hypothesis. Yes. So we've done, yeah, a few experiments. We've done the, the classic one where you grow runner beans in a glass. 
Yep. Um, and watch the roots and shoots come yeah, out. Yeah, it's so fun. We've done that a couple of times now. We've we've done. There is an experiment in there that we've done anyway, which is where yeah. you take cuttings and you put them in water, and then you watch yep. the roots grow. So we did it's that with mint, fun. and we're just doing that with another house plant at the moment. Yeah. And we like the book so much that we've got a few other. There's loads of titles in the series, so we've ordered a couple of other ones. I think there's like an astronomy for every kid. Oh, cool! And other yeah. bits and bobs. So astronomy is better in the winter because I can always see Orion's belt. Yeah, it is better. Well, you get there's more hours of darkness, so we'd recommend that. We'll put that. Uh, yes. On we'll the web. Put that on the. Put a link to that, um, on the podcast notes. Yep. Um, and we've been. You've been really enjoying. Like we carried on our tradition of listening to audiobooks yeah. after quiet time which is after lunch you have just yes. some quiet time um, and what's the really funny book you're listening to at the moment um, my brother is a superhero it's so funny <laughs> but we'd also listen to Peter Pan yeah and uh, and then we listen to all of the Harry Potter books yeah we'd, well that was part of our learning last year wasn't it yeah so... but I, I'm listening to them all again and I'm actually getting through it really fast yeah how are you ten chapters a day if I'm lucky and because we've finished all our like free reads yeah um, you know, normally a few of the free reads I will read you in the eve- you know in the evenings of bedtime stories. Yes, but I, and I always ask for the Hobbit, and it's only in the summer holidays where we actually. So as, get as it. a super special treat, you're getting a Hobbit at the moment, aren't yes. you? Yes, we're really enjoying reading that. Because Daddy always reads it to me. I'm. It's always a book which is asked to read. Read the Hobbit. Read the Hobbit. It's one of our favourite books. Yeah. So that's kind of our. Our uh, lockdown life, isn't it? Lockdown life. Cause so we definitely get used to it. We're in between. In between years. Um, yeah. We've been doing windy walks and bike rides. It's so fun. But uh, generally, we've just been chilling out. So yeah, we're it's blessed fun. not to have been too badly affected, really, yeah. by coronavirus. But we hope you are all staying well. Yes, I and almost dare to say that I like lockdown. We <laughs> will keep you posted. I think there's definitely something to be said for not rushing around and doing stuff all the time. Yeah. Um, it's nice to have a chill of life for a while. For a, ro- for a while. Yeah, do miss all my friends and all my clubs. Um, uh, but thank you for staying in touch with us. Yes, thanks. And we will be back in a few weeks, yeah. maybe two or three weeks. Two, three, four, or five. Just to keep you posted. But keep yeah. following us on all the usual channels. Yes. We're mainly on Instagram these days. And uh, tell your friends about us. Yeah. And tell us. We want to increase our numbers. We'd love to hear how you're getting on too. Yeah. Right. See you soon. Bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Home Ed Matters podcast. We love hearing from you. So email us to homeedmatters at gmail.com. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Home Ed Matters and visit our website at www.homeedmatters.co.uk. If you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review wherever you listen, like Apple Podcasts, Stitcher or Spotify. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your Home Ed journey this week. They say absence makes the heart grow fond Well, I've grown quite fond of you Some people may think you're strange But I think I'm strange too It's raining outside And it's raining inside too I want to go home, a place where I'm known, and where I know you, walk familiar streets.